Hello guys, welcome back to a new video in Aero Studio. As you know, a couple days ago, we uploaded this package to my website, Premiere Pro Template Creative, Premiere Pro Templates. So you can go ahead and download, it's free, 100%. Make sure to read the description, it's only for 2017, 18 and 2019. And also, I'm gonna leave this project that you just saw in this preview, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. This you can go ahead and download. Unfortunately, this you won't be able to open 2017. It's only for 2018 and 19. The first step, if you want to download this project, is to download this font type. You know, I will leave the link in the description. It's free. You can go ahead and download first. And the second step is to download the package. When you download this free package, you will have a folder with three files, two license and other the HTML file so you can double click the html file will open another window and you will see the image so you can double click the image and it will take to this page and here you will have both projects as you know both files the project file and the template uh, folders i suggest to download the template folder first install i have videos how to install it. you can go ahead and check once you download this Premiere Pro templates, you will have this folder that I already downloaded, this created Premiere Pro motion templates. Inside, we will have the Premiere Pro uh, project, of course, and also we will have the image, but the folder, it's empty, and also the sound. If you let you use the same sound that I have in this project, I will leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and check. Make sure to subscribe in their channel. They have amazing sound for YouTube content, you know. Let me go and open Premiere Pro. As you see, this is the 2018. As I said, this project is only for 2018 and 19, not for 17, but the package template is for 2017, definitely. Let me go back to the folder and also before, so you can go ahead and double click the project and we'll open in Premiere and we'll pop up this link MIDI window saying the photos and music it's missing. As you know, the way I used to fix this is make sure to click the offline all and we'll pop up this. Basically, we got this kind of like red and ugly, you know, so you will have this. So make sure, you know, once we have this, so it's uh, kind of like downloading. There you go, as you see. And so once you open this, as you see, we got this uh, kind of like missing icons. And also if we go inside the image, we got this missing. So let me go and put thumbnails. So you will see what I'm talking about, as you see. So let me go open a little bit. So the way I used to fix this is not like most of the YouTube uh, videos, you know, showing that just replace the same image with the same name and definitely Premiere, uh, you know, detect automatically. But in this case, you let you uh, have another video or image with different name. It's a little hard. So that's what I decide and show you the way I used to work. So let me open the image. And also I already downloaded the image so you can go ahead and use video. It's the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and drag and drop into the image folder. Also, I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the sound. Go back in here and let me just go ahead and replace the sound in the folder. Once we have this, we can close this window and make sure the Premiere is open. Let me go ahead and open again the Finder and make sure the folder I already have in here. So let me go ahead and select all the image and just drag and drop. As you see, easiest way. And we'll still have those missing names in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the sound. So let me go open the finder, uh, go in sound, and just drag and drop. And there you have. Okay, let me go back to the image. Go ahead and open this folder, as you see. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure select this holder one on the timeline. Double click, and you will see the image composition. If you double click inside, you will have the missing image. So how I replace this and keep the animation is easy. Make sure select, go ahead and select the image you want to replace. I mean, you want to add, drag and drop, holding down Option, Alt and PC, and you will have it replace it. You see? So let me close this and go and do the same with the second holder. Same thing, double click the image composition, select the missing image, select the image you want, and just drag and drop, holding down Option, Alt and PC, and you will have it animation. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. If we go back and you will have all of them replace it, as you see, this is a different image and this is a different image, of course, as you see. So I'm going to go ahead and replace all the image and come back. Okay, I'm here back again. 
I replace all the image, all the holders. As you see, if I go here, we got different image here. We got different image. That's the way you can replace it. And then we can go ahead and add the sound. As you know, the sound is a little more easy. Just drag and drop and you don't have to do like the image. And here we go. Let me play and see. It won't play smooth because I need to render this project. My computer is a little slow. So let me play just to show you. Okay, as I said, my computer is not playing smooth, but I'm not going to render because it will take time, but you already know. Now, in case you would like to create this from scratch, I'm going to go ahead and create. Let me just maybe, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do DSLR, uh, 1080p, you know, 30 frames per second, then call to And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Once you install, so you can go ahead, actually, let me go in here and open the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't have and here we go I already installed my package as I say so I'm gonna go ahead and do it from scratch so you can have an idea how to create your own so let me go ahead and drag and drop this and make sure let me zoom in a lot a little bit make sure it's selected once we have this I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the image in this case I already have the image in this I'm gonna go ahead and this image 001 so I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop uh, make sure I'm going to leave in the fourth, uh, you know, layer. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and then hold an option, Alt and PC. I'm going to just drag and drop, duplicate basically and selecting this in the essential graphics edit panel. You will see this option mask, shape one, shape two and three. I'm going to uncheck three, two and one and just leave the mask. So we will have this basically as you see. So what we can do is select the image, go into the effect panel and look for the track mat as always. And you know, drag and drop, make sure go into the uh, effect control and we will have this in the video five and you will see. And then what we can do in here is go ahead and select this, make sure go into the Essential Graphics Editor, you know, and just uncheck Mask and uncheck the Shape 1, 2. And also we can go ahead and duplicate one more again, you know, holding an option, as I said, and make sure select it. In this case, I'm going to uncheck the Shape 3 and just have 2 and 1. And also we can go ahead and change the colors, as you see. So I'm going to go ahead and change this, the, this those two frames. So I'm going to go ahead and change the same color in here, but I don't like this. So I'm going to go ahead and have a little more kind of like white, not too red or uh, and you will see. And also the same thing, you can go ahead and change as, uh, you know, the white frame as you see. But I like white, so I'm going to go ahead and do. And then what we can do once we have this second layer empty, so we can go ahead and, you know, select the particles that is included in this package. So I'm going to go ahead and select drag and drop and make sure it will take a little time to load. Make sure to be patient. And then what we can do is once we have the previous, as you see, we got kind of like pedals. So, and also we got a lot of options in the essential graphics panel. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the leaves and I'm going to go ahead for this. I'm going to check the hurt bucket to, uh, you know, and you will have this and also you can go ahead and change the color all particles color so you can go ahead and maybe have the same red in here but I don't like so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like more white not too red and you will have this the same that we have in the project and that's all that you can do in this case as you see so my computer is not playing smooth uh, but that's the way as I say so in this case once we have this we can go ahead and select all of them you know right click nest camp and i'm gonna call holder one the ambulance is freaking anyway let me go ahead and click ok once we have this so if we go to the you know project folder we got this holder one so how do i do multiple clips in here without spending a lot of time it's easy make sure to right click duplicate that's important to duplicate and this 
and I'm gonna go ahead and type 2 and let me go ahead and drag and drop and basically definitely it has the same image so what we can do it's easy in here so we can go ahead inside make sure select the image so I'm gonna go ahead into my image folder let me see what I have right here and so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this image is selected uh, you know drag, uh, make sure down here selected and also select this uh, hold an option and replace it and so you will have let me close all of them so you will have this for some reason my Premiere it's not updating that's happened I have to close and open back again and update it for some reason because I have issues with Premiere but if you click in this uh, holder one you have this image if we go back click the holder two you got different image in this case it's not different image what happened so let me go back again do the same so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure select this image two holding an option and just okay so go back and see we got this image and here we got this image I guess as you see it's not updating my premiere is a little bit but if you go inside you will have different image don't worry that's the way to create from scratch as I said make sure to check the link all the links on the description if you can download all and also we got more free projects as I said so you can go ahead and download most of them are free and make sure to check the project of course on my youtube channel English and Spanish. So if you did enjoy the content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow me on the social media. You know, like us on Facebook or share on Twitter. And see you next time.